In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an organization structure or organization chart as well as you can use this for a family tree. So let me just show you how it works when I click the first the senior manager or the CEO or the GM whatever you call it that that uh, first line will appear and then the second line of managers you can see here I've just put a lady image there and a male image here and then uh, this two uh, mid-level managers are reporting to this manager you can see here which is in the green and then when I click then the next level will come one by one you can see here something like this all right now this will come for this side so you can see here something like this all right so this one as i said you can use either for the organization structure or a chart or for or to make a family tree also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert click on icons and scroll down you can see here there's a people so select this one the male and the female and click on insert so you can see here the two i have added let me just close this two icons has been added now let me just go insert one oval shape click on shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and bring this person the icon on top of this and bring to front you can see here something like it so you can say this is the head or a ceo or the general manager whatever you call it or president and i'm going to give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes i can select the freeform shape let me just zoom in so that you understand clearly what exactly i'm trying to do and i'm just going to click here you can see here something like this i can make a shadow effect all right and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete two the one stop i'm going to select and make it a black all right and change the direction you can see you can change the direction all right and once you change the direction the second one i'm going to choose the color which i have used for the background all right and then the transparency i'm going to make it 100 percent and then you can just go to the effects under soft adjust you can increase the size also you can see something like this it will look and then just send this to back all right so we have got the shadow effect something like this now i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate now the second in line i'm just going to add one more all right and now this time i'm going to replace with a lady just bring it again to front all right and if you want to change the color also you can just simply change any color of your choice so you can see here but make sure that put some color which is clearly visible all right now uh, we need to add the other team members all right let me just delete this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the color to black and this one press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key reduce the size a little bit all right so you can see here for example now this there are two managers reporting to this lady so i'm just going to add one more press ctrl d add the other side also you can see here two sides i have added now for this person maybe they are three reportees again press ctrl d to duplicate again hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here so i'm just going to press ctrl d something like this all right 
now again maybe for this they could be two more also again i'm going to press ctrl d hold the shift key further reduce it and then press ctrl d something like this all right now for this they could be two so let me just select from here press ctrl d you can see here again ctrl d again for this they could be for this one they could be three reportees so depending on your requirement you can just add as many as you want so now uh, say suppose this is the organization structure for a department or you can use this as a family tree also now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect them to connect them go to insert shapes and i'm going to use the free form shape okay so just connect from this one to this one and double click and if you want you can give the line color to a dark blue again go to insert shapes again select the free form and now i'm going to connect from this you can see here i'm going to do it and then double click here again give the same color and then insert shapes again free form i'm going to select from here to the middle double click so you can see here this way you can just add the the lines or the connectors so go to insert again shape i'm going to do this one you can see here and double click all right change the color again and then go to insert i'm going to use this one double click so you can see here this is the simplest way you can add as many people as you want depending on your requirement and depending on the slide size also now let me complete the other two also the other remaining so go to insert again shapes select this one so it's very easy you can see here double click and then again now if uh, some people can ask why we can't use this one which is the our lines you know something like this this also you can use but the problem let me just show you why we cannot use this one so example if i'm just connecting from here you can see here it doesn't connect it looks something like this you know i cannot do anything in that one again i have to write mouse click i cannot edit also so that is a difficulty that's the reason we cannot use that one so we have to use the the free form shape so again say from this one let me just connect this again change the color and connect this all right so you can see here uh, and then the last remains go to insert shapes free form again change the color then this is the last line i'm going to add all right again if you feel that something wrong again right mouse click edit points and then you can just correct it also something like this also it can be done so you can see here uh, in a quick uh, manner we have created this organization structure or you can call it as a, a family tree structure also that can also for that purpose also it can be used now if you want to do some basic animation you can add the animation to it so before adding the animation it's time to add the text for example you can go to insert text box you can type the name all right center align choose any good font i'm just going to reduce the size then go to insert shape select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and send this to back let me just zoom in and then put this text in the center and then i'm just going to group this press ctrl g to group so i can just add the name and insert you can add your position
make it white reduce the size you can see here center align and again I'm just going to group this you can see here so it looks something like this so I'm just going to press ctrl D add only to the the top managers for example only to this four or the level three only and for them you can just select simply select this ctrl C ctrl V and then just add if white is not visible you can just change the color so like this you can just add for each one all right now let's see how to give the animation you can go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first let me just group this i have not grouped it i'm just going to group this along with the shadow effect but make sure that the line is not selected see the line got also got selected hold the shift key remove the line and press ctrl g to group it and then i can simply use maybe a basic zoom you know it comes something like this or if you want you can make it the fly in or depending on your requirement you can use it and then i'm going to select this line and i'm going to give a wipe effect see here and that should happen after previous and again for this Control G. I'm just going to copy this animation here. You can see here it comes something like this. Even I forgot to add the animation for this. You can add again, uh, maybe a more intense effects. I can give a stretch, stretch from top. All right, and this should happen before the the lady manager, and then make it after previous. If I play it comes something like this you can see here then again this animation i'm just going to add it here and then the line animation and then this animation i'm going to choose all right again the same wipe effect i can give maybe again i can make it either from left or from top whichever way you want you can just make it all right and again this should happen after previous then slowly you can add the same animation effect one by one onto this you can see here so just complete that and if i play it looks something like this you can see here something like this